Hello and welcome back to Shelf Centered. This is Bryce and we got another book haul. It's actually been, it's, it's not as frequently as it was before, but uh, and this one's not too huge. But here we go. I'm wearing my honor, uh, in honor of the Super Bowl, I'm wearing my superb owl champions shirt. And here we go. Let's jump into it. Starting with Kindle books, my new Kindle books, uh, how I love them. Um, I get too many of them and I have already realized I'm not going to read them all by the end of my life. There's just not even a possibility, but I will still collect them because I can't help myself. But here we go. Uh, first, and, and the thing is I do get a lot of, of reviews or arcs, uh, advanced reading copies, those kind of things. So that's been a healthy amount for this. <laughs> For this version here. Uh, first of all, we've got Crown of Scales and Wonder by Amelia Ramos Samper. Uh, she's 12 years old, uh, contacted me on Instagram and has written her own book. Like that's impressive enough. Uh, there's, you know, been others of a similar age like Christopher Paolini and the Inheritance Cycle. Uh, and that one's, I mean, that did super well. So I, I wish her all the, all the best. And of course, I'm going to, you know, as I, as I tell people, I will accept all the books in the world. I'm happy to and feature them in book hauls. I cannot promise reviews. I just, I, <laughs> one, I got to I gotta be in charge of my own TBR. Otherwise, I'll go crazy. I've, I've had issues. <laughs> I've had problems with this before of over-promising, and I just disappoint everyone, most of all myself, because I want to be able to get to everything in the world. I have the best of expectations <laughs> and hope, but it tends to get dashed, and I, I am sorry for that. Speaking of advanced reading copies, I got a copy of The Bloody Chorus by John Marco. I've already started it. It's amazing. The problem is there has been no time in the world to actually keep reading it. It's all I want to do is literally sit there. And that's what when I know especially that I have just an excellent book on my hands is like, I want to stop doing everything and just read it. And that's what the bloody course has been so far. And, and I kind of knew it. I just, you know, I, I, <laughs> I'm not one to make those predictions, but I also, there's a reason I pick the books that I read. It's because I think I'm going to like them. Um, so anyway, this is one that it's been slow going because literally the court has appointed me to every case it feels like in the history of mankind and I have been in court so much that all of my free time has been spent actually doing the work that I promised people to do that I would be doing, which I haven't been able to get done during the regular work day and work hours because I'm in court. <laughs> so uh, anyway, I'm not bitter. I'm not annoyed by that. I'm not getting myself off the list at all. And then, speaking of which, I got another copy of Sewell. The authors already graciously gave me this gorgeous Kickstarter. This is the Kickstarter book, I believe. With this awesome cover that literally the authors are the artists for the book too, and they're amazing. Look, there's the authors. There we go. And so, I uh, also got the ebook, um, uh, and so I'm excited. So that might actually help me get to it quicker, easier. Uh, and I figured, if anything, it allows me to feature this gorgeous book that I love picking up one more time in a video. Why not? <laughs> then I snagged Illborn by Daniel T. Jackson because it was a good deal. Uh, I think it was like 99 cents uh, pretty recently. So I finally, you know, everybody's been talking about it. It's made, I don't know how many lists of best of lists of the year. Uh, and it just, and not just be in of self-published books it's been of people's favorite books of all time of the year of all time even this has been making lists so i'm perking up i'm looking i'm heading i'm heading there and it's going to kind of be a theme i did some news on scott lynch not too long ago and, it, and then i went down a rabbit hole uh figuring out that there's a couple of his, his short stories and novelettes and stuff that uh have been out there but I have not read because I'm crazy I guess uh, so one of them I got and it's, it was only available as I could tell uh, on Smashwords but it's in the stacks so we'll see what that's all about but I was excited to do that uh, there's one more book uh, with Scott Lynch being the reason for it I will definitely be checking that one out uh, as well for audiobook I should say I did get uh, Exit Strategy by Martha Wells I added this to the list I got it from e from Libby uh, because these books are really expensive, but they are beautiful. They're good, and I, I'm eventually, let's be honest, let's be honest, since I do about a book haul a month, but at least I've <laughs> been keeping up somewhat. I'm catching up with the Murderbot Diaries, but I did get this one from Libby. Uh, you got to love it. It's just the library app. Highly recommend getting 
it just has so many so much stuff so much good stuff they even have the uh there's like a between books four and five uh, novella that I'm excited to read. All right, to the main show here. This is the books, the physically purchased books that I have uh, from this last month-ish. And I thought I'd start with one that was a really cool find for me. It's the magazine of, of fantasy and science fiction. This is, as far as I can tell, uh, well, anyway, this is at least, <laughs> contains in this one, Ill Met in Lankmar, the Fafford and the Grey Mouser series. This is like them coming together, uh, kind of their origin story, all, even though it's, it's one of the later books that was actually written. Um, but I thought this was cool to actually find it in a copy of the, the magazine Fantasy and Science Fiction, um, you know, because this is like usually where books are originally uh, published before they get kind of collected into other books like um, you know and this one's in I think it's swords and devil tree which I also have <laughs> but anyway thought this was really cool could not resist April 1970 so that's pretty cool anyway I hopefully it's something good I couldn't resist it it was literally two dollars so uh, you know bully for me I win I win that one hands down all right I had I don't know what what prompted this uh, but here we are uh, <laughs> went on some well I do know actually what prompted it there's this 80s store in Denver it's awesome it's really fun it is totally 80s but that's that's where I got this they had a copy of Batman year one I'd always heard that this was a good one uh, I've read Batman Returns which is great although I don't you know old Batman without its cool powers as as much as just it's kind of a letdown this is year one so it's literally year one but not really an origin story so that's kind of nice it's just uh, kind of a, a, a putting together you know him versus Gordon uh, and there's a great joke I saw uh, lately. Why is there only shampoo Batman and not conditioner Gordon? <laughs> so bad. Um, anyway, I think this is cool. It's really fun. It's short, uh, and I still haven't finished it, but I have already started it. Cause that's what I do. But Frank Miller, you know, <laughs> Frank Miller is kind of famous for Batman-ish stuff. Uh, another one, uh, speaking of Batman, Hush was another one that's on my list. I was actually looking for the long Halloween, couldn't find it, they didn't have it, but they did have Hush, it's the Loeb. Uh, uh, you know, Loeb's supposed to be do. it's supposed to have done a really good job with these, so I'm excited for Hush. Hush is pretty thick, this is a good one. Um, definitely more updated, um, you know, uh, drawings and whatnot, so that's kind of cool. Uh, very excited to read that one as well. All right, then this is where I am impulsive and can't help myself, but Tim Powers Declare, <laughs> I found it. It was at a library sale. It's one of those, like, I couldn't really find anything, and I did find this, and you feel bad walking out not buying something, you know? I want to support it. So I got this, and who knows how long it will last before I get rid of it. But I know Tim Powers, but again, Tim Powers is like, I think one of the authors I own the most books of that I haven't even read. So here we are. All right, speaking of Scott Lynch, this is the whole reason I got, uh, uh, well, one of the things I got because of that Scott Lynch uh, story. Scott Lynch is the author, I haven't said, of The Lies of Locke Lamora. I love that book. I haven't read any more into the series because... He's just one of those authors that hasn't been uh, producing, uh, you know, getting getting to the books as, as as fast as I would like, and I've I've you know I have maybe some PTSD or <laughs> What was that? I am you know always a little hesitant when it, when an author uh, you know starts to slow down, and they're series that they've clearly planned out. Uh, but again, I'm not. It's nothing against them. It's just more me. I don't want to get so committed that I'm constantly rereading. Uh, everything I have enough on my plate as I've been discussing so but this one's even cooler uh, Gardner du Zois, there's you know Hunter's Run is actually coming out as a at least well I mean it, it's got optioned so we're not even close to even being produced as a, a any kind of media at this point um, but that is cool to see uh, but this uh, you know sadly he passed away but he you know put together so many of these great anthologies one of my um, favorites being Songs of the Dying Earth um, and but the book of magic, I mean, we've got literally a Scott Lynch book. We've got a, uh, a George R. R. Martin one, which I've already read because it's also in the Sand Kings anthology of his. Um, 
Megan Lindholm, who's also Robin Hobb. Matthew Hughes is always good for one. Um, not a huge, um, not many people know of him. I, I learned of him in, in, you know, the songs of the dying earth and he has the, the damned busters, which is a great, uh, book. The sequel is not so much, or uh, they just didn't punch as, as well as that one did. And even that one is more, it was clearly a novella that was expanded upon and it was so good for like the first half and then it kind of was like, oh, whatever. Then, because these were at the used bookstore and uh, who am I to stop myself from impulsive decisions, <laughs> but I grabbed, what is it, Tiamat's Wrath and the final one, Leviathan Falls, in the Expanse series. This is eight and nine, the penultimate and the ultimate books in the series. Couldn't resist. These are just so cool. I only own book three. I am on book four, reading-wise. <laughs> um, but we're going to get them. We're going to get them all. Uh, I'm going to Pokemon these so bad. <laughs> anyway, that's all the books that I've collected this month. I can't help myself and I have issues. Hopefully you enjoy the Super Bowl this week. I'm clearly there uh, for the Superb Owl. I can't wait for the owl to come out. And we will <laughs> catch you later. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps the channel a lot. Obviously not if it's something you don't want to do. That's how, that's how this works. Anyway, we'll catch you later. Thanks. <laughs> Bye.